You found me among the ashes. Broken. I did not understand why you helped me. But now, I see. You are a leader. Where you build, people flock. And yet, I see only ruin. Vengeance calls me. I shall answer. Fate shall know my name. I am Freya, warrior of the Aesir. Hello, Exiles, and welcome to part 31 of my Conan Exiles Beginner's Guide. Uh, today is all about getting our first companion, Freya. The companion system was added with Age of Heroes Chapter 1, and it allows us to get followers in a new way by recruiting them by going on quests with them instead of uh, doing the traditional knockout and put them on the Wheel of Pain, etc. So uh, we are at Freya's camp. And uh, Freya used to be a uh, regular NPC that you could knock out. Um, she was over here on the hill, I think. Uh, and then she had a pet white wolf and some other people around here. But as we can see, something has gone down. Um, so this, uh, the Freya quest takes part over six days. Uh, between each day, there is a eight hour time gate, um, which is eight real world hours. So even in single player, you don't have to be logged in the game. You just have to wait eight hours and come back. And uh, she should meet you at your most established base to start the next day. Um, so I have my two berserkers to help out today. As far as combat goes, um, there are only a few really difficult combat parts. That I mean, they're not too bad, I think couple relic hunters or one relic hunter with the well-trained stat you'd be fine I mean if you can fight really well with great gear you could probably solo it as well um, but that would be challenging and uh, another thing is you're gonna need either uh, silent legion armor with ice to go into the volcano at one point uh, but that's gonna be in the second part of this we're gonna do day one through three today um, but on the second part, you will need uh, a way to survive the volcano to go to the Well of Skelos. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So here's Freya. The dreamer dreamed on the cold gray hills. The seeker rode in the sun. They are parted by fire and death and time. But their lives cling and their souls twine. Till the last of the day is done. And your uh, dialogue choices do not affect the perks she gets at the end, uh, but there are some actions you take during the quest um, that will affect their perks, and I'll explain those as we go. Mir's beard. Interrupting the dirge of an Aesir warrior is a death wish. If I wasn't weak from struggle, I'd have my blade at your throat. You aren't carrying a blade, warrior. I want to know what happened here. Then use your eyes. The jackals came. They set fire to the hut and took my man, Angvar. They didn't no. attack you? Angvar could see the shape of it right away. He surrendered to protect me. That man. Always my shield when I need him. Surrendering, surrendering to protect you sounds like Caritas. Or where did they take him? I'll be nice. I'll... Use the nice dialogue choices. So that's it. You're just going to sit around singing sad songs? I just need a moment. Why do you care? I assume that if I help you get your man back, I'll get some kind of reward. My man was... Why is it cutting off her dialogue? Jeez. And start by searching the bodies. If we're going to find my husband, we need to know where these fools came from. Okay, so you search. There's uh, three bodies around here, I think. So you search them. 
hit interact on them. So that says the warrior was slain. There's nothing here but the stench of death. Or body around here, where it is. You found a note. Okay, let's read the note. We've got ourselves a job, and it demands discretion. We're supposed to haul the blacksmith from his perch on the hill all the way to Stormwatch. If he's not delivered in one piece, we get no take, and there's enough gold in the pot for each of us to buy a seat on the High Council. There's always a twist in jobs like these. The smith must be more than meets the eye for this great sum. Bring him in one piece, cousin. Take no risk. Avoid any suspicion that could tie this back to the clan. Oh yeah, and uh, we are over here... Um, like I said, at Freya's Hovel, at G9, it's up on a mountainy area, so you're going to want to enter from down here, H9 area. So you come up here, and then you can walk up this way. Alright. Talk to Freya again. Did you find anything out? One carried a note. They were hired to capture your husband and bring him to Stormwatch. Stormwatch. That's a Vanir place. You'll find it west of here. You aren't coming with me? I am not ready. You'll need to give me some time. So much for the great Asir warrior. I'll head west alone then. Yes, take your barbed tongue and go. Okay, so we need to go to Stormwatch. And we're going alone without her. Uh, Stormwatch is over here. Um, a little south west of uh, New Azagarth. So, I will meet you over there. Okay, here we are coming up on Stormwatch. Be ready to fight. Decently tough NPCs. or fatality. Well, my berserkers are being a little dumb. Of course, loot if you want to. It's not going to be anything great. chest in here. Some silver, I guess we'll take that. And then go in this hut. You'll see three things on the table. A note under a dagger, you can pick that up. A bag of goods, and then when you pick up this, some uh, a wave of enemies is going to spawn, so be ready. They will pin you in this room. Did they take that out? Oh, you used to have a wave of enemies come in when you picked up that stuff. So let's read this. Fret not, cousin. I'll pick up some exile brutes to do the job with me. If there's anything you're they're good at, it's swinging a club. Once we return to Stormwatch, I'll gut the dogs. No one will miss them, and no one will know we were involved. Okay, let's read the other notes. Seeker of Fortune, I have a task that requires discretion. I would pay the sum of 300 gold pieces for the capture and safe delivery of this blacksmith, Angvar. He can be found at his hovel in the hills east of New Azagarth. Bring him to me with no harm done, and you will be rewarded handsomely. Should you maim or kill him, I'll ensure the molten gold lines your innards before you rot in a shallow grave. The note is sealed in wax stamped with a raven's foot. Okay, that's a clue, raven's foot. All right, let's go back and check in with Freya. Okay, we're back here over at Freya's hovel. Let's talk to her. 
I wasn't sure you'd be back. Any tidings of Angvar? I followed the Paul. I followed the path all the way to west to Stormwatch. I found these notes. I don't recognize the seal of the Raven's Foot, but someone is working behind the scenes. They mentioned the clan. I wonder. Do you know something? No, I just suspect something. I must travel to New Azagarth and speak with the tribal elders. Shall I accompany you? No. The village is a bore, outsiders. I must go alone. And listen. I have been lying to you. I'm no warrior. Not anymore. What happened? Before we were brought to the exiled lands, I fought and killed as well as any in my tribe. More so, some called me Valkyrie. After the warrior women of our myths. When we were captured, I took a wound to the arm. It festered, and I took a long time to recover. When I did, I had lost my prowess in battle. My wound has never truly healed, and my ability to fight is all but gone. Angvar was taken, not because he was weak, but because I can't fight. There is nothing that can be done about the wound? Perhaps. There is a witch named Hulda. She laid an enchantment on my blade when Angvar forged it for me. She might be able to help. And what should I do in the meantime? Once I have spoken with the elders and hopefully found Hulda, I should know more about where they have taken Angvar. I will seek you out. You have an encampment in the exiled lands, I assume. Show her on the map your base? Then look for me there in a few days. And thank you for your help. Okay, so that is the end of day one and the start of the first eight hour uh, real world time gate. Um, so either take a break for the day or go off and do some other things. Um, and she should show up at your most established base after eight hours. Um, like I said, even on single player, you don't have to have the game running for eight hours. Um, now, if you're on single player or you have admin access on a server, you can skip the time gate and I will put the command for that on the screen. So I will meet you on day two. Okay, it's the next day, and I could not find Freya at my base, so I'm going to just talk to her at her hovel. There you are. Not a bad place you have here. And the mead isn't horse piss like they sell in New Azagarth. So she thanks her at my base. They didn't know anything. Which is strange, considering Stormwatch is usually patrolled from New Azagarth. So that's it? You're giving up? Don't be daft. I won't give up on Angvar. He never gave up on me. What I am saying is there is something strange going on in New Azagarth. Because they know something and lied about it. Every time I asked about that witch, Hulda... Like what? Like they were scared. Which doesn't make any sense. Our tribe was never fearful. So I need to figure this out. What will you do now? Now? I'm going to get my skills back. Then, I'm going to get my strength back. And then, I'm going to get my man back. And you're going to help. If I can help, I will. Good. Then hear me well. I had a lot of time to think on the way to New Azagarth. And I realized that I've been letting this wound hold me back. My father would never have allowed this moping. He taught me how to fight, to hunt, and he taught me how to heal. He would tell me to fight this. To take up my sword and relearn my path, one swing at a time. So let's go. I have training to do. I need you to watch my back while I find my way. Oh, and laugh at me, and I'll put seven inches of steel through your guts. Yeah? Good. Meet me at my hovel when you're ready to hunt. Okay, so, uh, we need to meet her back at her hovel, which we're already here, since we couldn't find her at our base. Um, I'm putting my berserkers on, uh, passive for following behavior. 
because I want to let her do the engagement for the killing on this first part. So the objective will clear. Okay. So talk My to her again. My blade is heavy. It's been too long. Let's start with something simple. Small game will give me practice and dinner. There should be rabbits living near my hovel. Okay, there should be some rabbits over here. I just need to get a feel for swinging a weapon again. It doesn't matter how. There's a rabbit. And it's kind of annoying. She takes forever to stalk her prey, so you just gotta wait. And let her kill the rabbit. There she goes, very slowly. What's next? <laughs> All right, and the other rabbit ran off, of course. Oh lord, he's still running. That's annoying. Oh, did she? Oh, she found another one. Okay, good. Okay, after two rabbits, she should be ready there to That's move on. Let's talk. That's enough of the easy stuff. Let's try something a bit larger. Let's hunt some animals. Animals that fight back. I think I'm ready for that. How are you Still feeling? Still very weak. Oh, the wound seems to drag at me. Pull back on my swings. And I see things just at the edge of my vision. What sort of things? Disturbing things. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm probably just tired. I used to see the same things when we first arrived here. Maybe you need to rest. No, no. I'm ready. Let's fight some animals. Oh, and I've been thinking about my wound. My father taught me how to make a poultice. He swore it was the best wound salve he'd ever used. And since I couldn't find the witch, I need to do something. We should keep an eye out for what I need. What do you need? Fire moss, singe root, and Atali's kiss. I don't know if they grow here at all. But if they do, we'll find them in caves and shady places. Continue. Let's get going. If I see any of the ingredients I need, I'll let you know. Okay, so we need three plants, um, and they are special plants just for this quest. And then we need to kill medium-sized animals, so uh, we can kill elk, uh, we can kill wolves, or boar, and that will count. So, uh, here is, here's the hovel, and if we come down, you, you can climb down this way, or kind of come around. Um, there's wolves here, there's some wolves around here, um, and an elk or stag, I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, we have the sacred hunt guy. Alright. Raining and dark, so beautiful. Gotta love the highlands. Climb down. Huh? And it shouldn't matter who kill does the killing for this part, but I do like to let her just start stalking before I engage. Some wolves this way. Ah, yes, another ingredient. Oh, well, she found one of the ingredients over here. Okay. I can't even see which one she's. Oh, that's the. Uh, 
That is a singe root. There we go. Got it. Looks kind of like aloe. I don't know if you were able to see it. Um, but if you back up and pause, it was on the ground by her feet. Okay, so we got one of the plants. Some wolves up here. Should take three medium animals. Ready. And I might need to help her with this one. This is actually a corrupted wolf. But there's some regular wolves over there too. Okay. All right. So, I don't know if that just counted as one kill, but all right. So another one of the plants is right up here by this pillar, fire moss. Looks kind of like a red mushroom. Here we go. Hopefully, she'll spot it. She did. Slowly picks it up, smells it. Okay, that's two. Is she done? Is she coming? Yeah. Alright, here's a... She's barely slowly coming towards it. Alright. That should count as two. At least. Let me show you what this uh singe root looks like. It's over here. Somewhere. Uh -huh. There it is. There is what it looks like. Kind of like, uh, I don't know, aloe or something. And then there's some more wolves and a stag over here. Bear your steel. You going? Draw and be ready. Should be enough. You need something. No, she still wants to kill more. Okay. Let's go get this last plant. A tailless kiss over here. Oh yeah, it's in this little cave. Yeah, it's right here. Ah yes, another ingredient. Ugh. Slowly harvest it. There we go, got it. There we go, that's enough. Let's talk. I haven't done this for a long time. I'm worn out, body and soul. My wound is throbbing, 
and I can't keep the bleak thoughts away. A shadow lies across my mind and I cannot shake it. In the past, action was enough. Now I make every move as if wading through a dark mire. You sound defeated. No. No. I just need rest. I'll get my spirit back, and we'll find and rescue Angvar. We must. I'll seek you out when I'm ready. Okay. So that is the start of the second time gate, the end of day two. So I will wait the eight hours and bring you back. Okay, it's the start of day three, and again, I could not find Freya at my main base. I also checked my purge base. So I'm coming to talk to her at her hovel. By the gods, I don't feel up for this today. I can barely lift my arm. You look awful. Did you sleep at all? I couldn't. My dreams were filled with lurking evil. Like a black serpent writhing through a garden of flowers. Horror and madness. Did you recognize anything? Oh, yes. I saw Angvar. Bound to a stone. Taunted by hawk-faced warriors. They cut and cut, and he writhed and writhed. And stopped. It's no wonder you didn't sleep. They don't feel like natural dreams. I told you before that every sword swing feels like it drains my strength. I don't think I can do it again. If the sword hurts, put it down. There are other ways to fight. Take up the spear instead, and let's hunt. You're right. I owe it to Angvar. My shield. My father taught me the way of the spear. If it hurts to swing, then by the gods, I'll stab. Where do you want to go? My father taught me the spear and how to hunt large game. Perhaps we can start there. Thank I'm ready. you. If you hadn't found me, I'd probably still be back at the hut, trapped in the gloom of my own thoughts. But you help me to see through the mist. Ah, enough talking. Meet me over at my hovel and let's hunt. Okay, so again, that would have taken place at your base if it was working correctly. Um, and in this next part, we can. We're going to hunt some big game and if we do most of the killing um, it will determine one of the perks it will give her uh, resolute plus 15 strength and plus 15 vitality if you do the most killing if she does the most damage uh, you will get carnage on she puts bleed and she heals from attacking bleeding mobs okay Let's talk to her again, as if we've come back to the hovel. You need something? Where can I find Bears the bear? Bears live in the mountains below the frost line. I've seen them near the lake southeast of my hovel, and at the base of the ancient dam. Oh, I have seen an enormous boar in the cliffs looking down upon the dry lands. Elk roam down on the plateau, keeping to the cover of the trees. Do not let their timidness fool you. They are deadly as a pack of wolves when angered. Wolves hunt in packs beneath the aqueduct. If we're lucky, we might find an elder by itself abandoned by the pack. So she needs to kill a bear. That's, it can just be a regular bear. She needs to kill a white wolf or a boss wolf. Um, she needs to kill the boss boar and a boss elk. Okay, so I have all those marked on the map. Um, we have an elk and a boar boss down here at G8. And um, there's bears down here. And then various wolves. So let me head down to the bears. We'll start there. And uh, Dangerous hunting bears. They okay, we're on the easy. island with bears. Dangerous hunting bears. They there's can overpower one. you easily. Okay, I want to do the most damage. <laughs> Let's take the claws. In Amir's name. Okay, we got the bear done. I'm gonna head over here to take on the boar. Something has disturbed the ground here. A boar. 
And from the look of it, a big one. Let's go carefully. Okay, here we are, coming up on the boar boss up this little hill on the edge that between be. the highlands Enjoy and the uh... Just stay out of their reach. Those will make a good trophy. See, so yeah, I want to get the uh, resolute perk that adds plus 15 strength to vitality, so I'm trying to do the most damage. Alright, let's go find the elk boss. He's around here. There's something just downwind of here. An elk. I can smell it. Luckily, it can't scent us yet. Stay low and follow me. Okay, we're near the elk. Boss. It's actually, I think, a boar Those boss spawned random randomly. Hunter. Here we go. Shit. Oh, she's slowly stalking him. Count the points. Those belong to Alright, so now we just need the wolf. Alright, I'm gonna look for a white wolf or a boss wolf and I'll bring you back. Okay, looks like we got a white wolf. This should do it. Maybe. Do you see it? That wolf there. That's a prize worthy of my father. We'll take its teeth as a tribute to Emir. Okay, so that should be it. Yesterday at this time, I could barely lift my arm. Today I'm filled with vitality. Fresh air and killing things works for me normally. I don't know. There is something here, just out of reach. I feel like I am on the edge of something. Some revelation. Leave revelations to the oracles and the gods. Enjoy the return of your strength. No, please, pay attention. I have an idea. We need to build a campfire. I want to try something. Okay, and you should be able to build a campfire or bonfire or something and to trigger the next part, so let's try that. Need my construction hammer. I got stuff to make a bonfire. Alright, there she goes. I'm going to try a prayer to Emir. You can watch. But don't interrupt. If the uh, putting down a bonfire doesn't work, snow. you can go to her bonfire Heed at her my hovel. Strength. By my arm were these creatures slain. By my will were these creatures taken. By bone and right of northern blood, I beseech thee, answer this prayer. Whither goes my strength? Do you see it? A figure in the smoke. A woman. I know her. It is the witch Hulda. I see her holding my sword. <sighs> All right. There we go. That's enough. Let's talk. She tricked Angar, but why? She covets him. She used to follow him around when they were both children. Ha, of course. Angvar is such a fool. She saw me as a rival for his love. So she cursed your blade? Which explains why my day with the spear hasn't left me drained. So then, how to break this curse? Blood usually works. Blood, yes. But whose? I don't see the problem. Don't use the sword if it's cursed. No. There is more to it than just the sword. Every time I use the sword, my wound ached. They are linked. 
I need to break the curse to heal the wound. You need a sorcerer. I think what I need the most is time to recover my strength. Time to think, and time to plan. When I needed to think in the past, I would throw myself into hard labor. The body takes over and leaves the mind room to think. What you're describing sounds like the Will of Pain, where I break the minds of my enemies. It sounds... ideal. Some time on the Wheel of Pain. It will give me time to rebuild my strength and think of how to break this curse. You're mad, but it's your decision. I will try this Wheel of Pain and clear my head. I'll come and find you when I feel prepared. So yeah, she can cut off mid-sentence, but that is the end of day three and the start of the next eight hour time gate and that will do it for this episode um we will do the last three days to finish the quest in a few days from now um so if you like the video please do me a favor and hit the like button subscribe to the channel and have a good day